Tanzania can point his go-to telescope at the sky, give it the coordinates in the computer that runs it now. Gosh, astronomy never was like this when I was growing up. He actually had to visually find stuff. And bingo, there it is, right in the center of the field of view. It's, it's astonishing how far we've come. But again, you're only as good at that end, observing, as your data. If this data was not right, you could not have amateurs seeing Elanine all over the world, including Francis Walsh, who's a really cool amateur in Texas, who did the same thing that Lee and Elanine did. He ran a telescope online in Australia and got the last images of Elanine before it went into conjunction with the sun and everybody lost it in the glare of the evening sky until it reappears sometime in the first week of October. Be in the Good afternoon, everyone. Stop by today to tell you about tomorrow night's collision course. Hi, Bella. I love my Bella. So, tomorrow night, my regular show, Collision Course, on uh, freedomslips.com forward slash revolution radio. Starts at 8 p.m. Eastern, like it does every Friday night. But tomorrow night, we're going to have our special guest again, Richard C. Hoagland. Because all the talk is about the asteroid YU-55. Is it going to hit the moon? What's it going to do? Well, we're going to talk more about it. I uploaded a video before this one, which showed the chat from the NASA chat room today. With Don Yeomans, they are telling us that it is fully documented, not going to hit the moon or the earth. But tomorrow night on Collision Course, Richard C. Hoagland has a different view on the very same event. So, what that's uh, created and what's that, what, what that is doing is for me to bring together as many of my friends, listeners, folks who like astronomy, like the moon, like asteroids, who can go out and take pictures and be outside uh, on their clear night because I'm not sure if my night's going to be clear next week. we got our fingers crossed, but I've seen the weather for Texas and it's not too good. So I need your help. And we're all going to come together on November 8th and look at the moon and look for the asteroid with telescopes and cameras and binoculars and whatever we can and then talk about the event the next day. And all the pictures I get and video clips I get, I'm going to be making a video montage. But before that day, November 8th, comes, tomorrow night, we're going to talk with Richard. And Richard's going to tell us what he thinks is going on with YU-55. We know already what NASA's going to say. Uh, we already know that because they're putting out the data. And in fact, right now, they're putting out a, la a lot of content about YU-55. I see more content about YU-55 from NASA than I did Comet Ellen, and amazingly or not. Um, so, let's roll with it. Let's, let's be our own investigators, and that's uh, a part of why I'm doing this. I'm not here to promote one view or the other. I believe NASA, and I go to NASA for my coordinates, and when I use my coordinates, I always find the object I'm looking for, so that tells me something. But then I have friends like Richard, who I enjoy. He's my friend, and uh, he's going to help us work it out. He's going to give us the alternative so that we're prepared for the alternatives. I'd rather be in a search for information for myself than just be spoon-fed uh, information and blindly trust things. So, This video is about tomorrow night's show, Collision Course. To tell you that Richard's going to be on with me. We're going to be talking more about YU-55. We're going to talk about what NASA says. We're going to talk about what Richard says. And we're going to... We're going to hear what I think, too. So, come on. You don't want to miss it. Revolution Radio. It's freedomslips.com forward slash revolution radio. Check it out in the description. I'll leave the link and the time and who's going to be there in a short description. My name's Francis. I'm your host. And we'll see you there.